Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks Session Destroying Weapons DLC video. Now in this video we're going to be checking out this awesome artillery train. Now it comes in two different parts, we have the head and we also have the actual artillery pieces. Now you, I'm guessing you could probably spawn several of these in uh, and we're going to see how well it actually works. I mean it looks like it's armoured, it looks like it's got a ton of weapons on it and I mean to test it we might as well call in a A-10 strike against it and maybe even some bomb runs against it and see how well it defends itself. Um, so I'm very interested to see how this all works. So I mean, let's go have a look around. So at the back, this is the artillery train part. And you can see we've got a battle cannon over here. We've got a large artillery gun here. I don't think it's a Bertha, but it's in between that and a battle cannon. And another battle cannon here at the back. Okay. Interesting. And the front one has also got a battle cannon. Looks like an AA gun, a radar, and another battle cannon. That's so many guns on this. All right, let's go and jump inside here and let's see what's going on. So open the door and jump in. And what do we have going on? So it is protected by armor. So that's going to be interesting to see if the A-10 can go through this. And also maybe if a bombing run will be able to go through this. All right, let's go and get some lights on. So light, spotlight, maybe it's outside. Uh, and then through to the back here, it looks like we've got, yeah, so this is the battle cannon, which you can load. There's rounds here, rounds here. Oh, we've got different types. That's pretty cool. Nice. So you can actually choose what round you want. Uh, we've got a padded seat, so that would probably be the full reloader, and then padded seat, that's for aiming and shooting, so we've got spotlight, interior light, reach open, screen, and fire. Okay, so let's grab a round. Now, I, can I use, okay, I can use the round, perfect, I put it in, and let's go and close the breach. Let's go and see, so I can aim left, right, up and down, I can zoom in and out. Okay, there we go. Nice. And then we can, of course, go and fire that. So, I mean, let's go and fire that over here. And fire is done. Nice. Very cool. I mean, maybe we'd like to see some mouse support for this, at least for firing. But, I mean, it's still cool. Uh, and then you can reload once again, grab another round. So, if we want kinetic this time, we can open the breach, throw a kinetic round in, close it off, and fire. Nice. Okay happy with that and all those rounds all around here and you can see this armor also so this should be quite well defended i guess against any attacks i mean that's the idea here is to be well defended what else we have some hatches to go to the top looks like we've got some side hatches to see out so you if you had some weapons you could grab some extra ammo here and maybe shoot out if someone's trying to attack you uh oh we've got some more rounds underneath us looks like some more rounds underneath us again another hatch another hatch What's this? Brake, thrust, key. Okay, so I'm guessing we can move this car without the main one. That's very useful. Uh, we have the main artillery gun here. So this is the big boy artillery gun. Do we have an option to... Okay, let's go and turn the light on, which is that one. Let's go over to the padded seat. And what do we have? Okay, we have a screen, a little spotting screen. We've got move shells and we've got open breach. So let's open the breach, grab around, stick it in close the breach and then we got some more rounds here now you can actually move or you can move the shells this way that's pretty cool okay let's go and get in this seat and then we've got screen we can go and angle this gun this is a big boy gun for example let's go and zoom in yeah let's target that hut over there this is a very big gun <laughs> I don't know if that's probably aiming correctly, but I mean, yeah, let's try. And then fire. <laughs> that's a very big gun. Uh, and then you have to come back here. So this is definitely probably better for multiplayer because then you could get your, I mean, your friends to maybe do the reloading for you or vice versa. Uh, and that would be pretty cool. It'd be a quicker way of doing it. And fire. <laughs> that's such a big gun, isn't it? Wow. That's a very big gun. All right, I mean, let's go and see what else we have around here. So if I can get out of, I can jump maybe here and move. I'm kind of stuck at the moment. There and then there and then there, perfect. Uh, in the front, and then we've got another battle cannon that we can use. I mean, let's go out of this one and let's go and explore the first one, which is the head. This is connected, so we can drive it. So let's go inside this one. So jump up and what do we have? 
All right, so it looks like we've got more lights. Uh, we've got... Okay, so this is the auto cannon for shooting any aircraft, I guess. So one is for the camera. You have to hold that. Wow, okay. That seems like a oversight. Um, I guess third person... Oh, yeah, third person might, might not be the best solution here. It does work, doesn't it? And then... Yeah, third person, not the best, to be honest. Uh, I mean, the first person is not the best, third person works okay. Uh, all right, and then we've got some extra ammo here, so if you do need to reload, you could. I mean, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, some more, oh, this one, we've actually got some weapons now, so we can equip ourselves with some weapons, open the hatches up, and fire out. Very interesting. Uh, looks like we've got a big engine here also. Uh, and then at the back, what's at the back? Another battle, Okay, so another battle cannon here at the back go forwards we've got driving seat and then what another battle cannon over here yes okay so same like the other ones let's see the driving part so we've got coolant engine we've got camera three camera two camera one starter on off reverse i'm guessing that's starter throttle clutch brakes are off apparently Increase throttle, get my clutch all the way up. And you can see we're moving. <laughs> I don't know what's happening with that tower at the back. Seems like it's kind of loose. So there's the bodies or something not happy there. All right, uh, we're going to stop over here because we're going to now... Why are we going backwards? Throttle, clutch, brakes, oh, brakes. Can we get increased throttle? Looks like engines have died. All right, let's go and turn all of this off. There's actually something above us there. Uh, let's get the throttle down. And let's get clutch down and brakes on. And what is that thing above us? Let's just go into the AA gun. Can I see it from here? No, I can't really see it, can I? Okay, yeah, so that's a friendly helicopter. All right, so now that we've tested all the internal stuff, I mean, the main thing I'm, I'm looking to test here is going to be if this thing can actually deal with attacks. Like, will it survive considering it's got the much, this much armor? So to test that part out, what we're going to do is we're going to call in an A-10 strike against us. So, I mean, we're going right over here at the moment. Uh, the waypoint is currently on us. So we should have an A-10 on the way. Oh, it's already, it's already coming in. See it over there? <laughs> oh, look at the rounds. The rounds are coming through. Okay, that goes, there goes our engine. I mean, it's not bad. I mean, I probably don't want that. I probably want a fire extinguisher first. Let's put the engine out. Or the fire on the engine out. And there we go. And let's grab the welding torch now. So, I mean, it's it's not that badly damaged considering i mean it took quite a few hits didn't it i think i also have armor piercing rounds on this thing but i mean we didn't take any damage and we're fine inside here and it's pretty easy to just do a quick repair work on all of this so you know the main thing is to keep us alive so <laughs> that's it pretty well okay let's call another one in so this time from the south and this time let's actually see if we can try and shoot down the a10 on the way here i mean Probably not going to be that good at it, but we can try. Let's just sort of do any other repair work that we need to. Okay, the A-10 is coming in. Try and... Okay, the second... The first one just left our airspace. Okay, I don't know if I'm hitting this thing or not. Oh, I think I'm getting hit big time. I've definitely got a couple rounds of that thing. Oh, I sunk it. Look at that. It's going down, but I'm dying. <laughs> oh, no, I'm dead. <laughs> so I died. Um, <laughs> I died, but we managed to sink the A-10. The A-10's in the water at the moment. Let's go and see the damage this thing did. Oh, man. It, okay, so it went straight through, damaged that... Um, damage that engine and I mean we can probably go inside here but we're probably gonna get burned by fire big time let me see if I can try and put this fire out quickly 
So last chance, let's go and get inside here. We're going to close all the doors and we're going to call a bombing run <laughs> because why not? Any bombing plane? I mean, we can check our map, can't we? Uh oh, here they come. They're coming from the side. I don't even see them. Where are they? They're so high up, I can't even see them. I mean, I'm going to have to... This might be a bad idea. Can I see them yet? I can't see anything. Go to this seat. Anything? Don't see anything. I see... The helicopter. Any bombs on us? Who goes to third person? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my word. Okay, yeah, I might have spawned too many bombs in. <laughs> Even my PC started ramping up the fans. Oh my word. Yeah, that thing didn't survive, did it? <laughs> Everything is broken. Oh, the door, door still works. I mean... <laughs> oh, man. All right. Guys, we're going to end it there. That was pretty fun. Um, That was pretty fun. I think this vehicle is really cool. <laughs> really, really fun to play with. Uh, especially when you just order some bombs on you and some, some A-10s to come and destroy you. So, guys, um, we're going to end it there. Hopefully, you have enjoyed it. If you have, smash the like button, hit the subscribe button. And if you don't want to miss any of my future content, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. And you also click the little bell icon to get notified as soon as my content gets released. Until next one, we will see you then.